Hey guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. It's your girl Fanny Longu back with another reaction video. If you're new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. A big shout out to everyone that has subscribed to our channel so far. Thank you for subscribing, liking, commenting, sharing, and everything else that you guys do. We're very, very grateful and we appreciate and a big shout out to the person that suggested this feel free to um follow us on facebook funny and jesse instagram funny and jesse and feel free to interact with us uh, so today i'm going to be reacting to hijab hijabi influences removing the hijab the muslim lady so without wasting time let's get into the video So another hijabi influencer removes her hijab and social media platforms go into a complete frenzy with people quickly jumping to take sides. Some condemning, others supporting, and some just there for the comments. And look, let me be the first to admit that wearing the hijab is not the easiest thing to pull off in 2020. The hijab is a cape Muslim women wear publicly, day in and day out, and it comes with a whole lot of hardships. Be it not getting that job we really wanted, be it the racial slurs, or in my case, being called the letterbox. Thanks, Boris. And this isn't even to mention the social pressures of trying to look our best in a world of glamorous photoshopped imagery of women. As hijabis, we're constantly fighting this uphill battle of self-consciousness and doubt, and we live with it daily. But before we get too carried away in all the struggles, the real question we should be asking ourselves is, have we lost the conviction as to why we are wearing the hijab in the first place? In Islam, the hijab is more than just a garment to cover our hair. It is a form of modesty that Islam demands from both men and women. Hijab symbolizes the true meaning of obeying Allah and encompasses modest character, behavior, and manners. Now, after understanding that the hijab is an obligation from God, we can see how this will be viewed as problematic in today's modern world. A world that celebrates the liberation of the individual and the ego. Yeah. Me, me. <laughs> a world that teaches you to focus on yourself, to love yourself unconditionally, and to put yourself first. And while self-care and self-love are no doubt important, we have to be very careful it doesn't turn into self-worship, whereby we no longer worship God, but rather our own egos. And with the current ego-boosting social media platforms, one can easily lose the real meaning of the hijab transforming it from being an avenue of obeying Allah to becoming just another trendy form of social expression that changes with the latest hashtag. And this is exactly why we are seeing so many public figures who have a huge platform take off their hijab because they say they are speaking their truth. So now post hijabis coming out is a narrative welcomed with praise and admiration for being one's authentic self. Such a phrase poses some dangerous implications, especially when your truth is at odds with Allah's truth. As Allah says in the Quran, it is not for a believer, man or woman, when Allah and his messenger have decreed a matter that they should have any option in their decision. Another statement that is gaining traction online is the old phrase, only God can judge me. And while no one is commenting on other state of Iman, it is important to point out that these influencers are in fact influencing many of our sisters today. Even if these hijabi influencers never claim to be role models, having such a huge platform comes with great responsibility that we will be held accountable for. So where do we go from here? As a fellow Muslim sister, I understand the struggle. And honestly, we all need to help and support each other to get through today's challenges. But if you do feel the pressure, Here's a few things we should remember. First and foremost, always surround yourself with a positive environment that fortifies your Iman. Surround yourself with sisters who elevate you and are there for you when you hit that Iman low. Make time to attend lessons at your local mosque. And if there aren't any programs, take initiative. Control your social media feed so you're not constantly subjected to content that makes you feel bad about yourself. Learn the stories of the great women like Maryam, Asya, Khadija, and Fatima. Read the stories of the female companions of the Prophet ﷺ to remind ourselves of what it really means to be close to Allah. And remember, no one is immune to tribulations in their faith. 
And that is why it is important that we constantly make dua to Allah to give us the strength and perseverance through all the challenges that come our way. As the Prophet Sallallahu taught us, Ya muqallib al qulub thabbit qalbi ala deenik. O controller of the hearts, keep our hearts steadfast. And if you do know anyone struggling, don't put them down. Rather lift them up and see how you can help them. So for all our sisters out there at a crossroad, before you decide to take off your hijab, ask yourself this. Are you praying your daily salah? Is your environment cultivating your iman? And how is your relationship with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? We are all in this together. And I pray that Allah gives us the strength to stay strong in our faith amidst all the struggles. Allah bless you all. If you enjoyed this video and other content One Path Network produces, please visit onepathnetwork.com. For as little as a dollar a day, you can help in spreading beneficial content across the globe. Thanks for your support, guys. Funny thing is, I've seen people react to people taking off their hijab. I'd see it on my um, YouTube, but then I've actually never watched the videos myself and heard what these women taking off their head wraps say. Um, this video was really, really amazing. The advice was top notch. I mean, some, I, I really don't understand why someone would go against something that may be maybe a, re, um, a religious um, law. It makes me wonder. There's so many factors that people look at, but sometimes it's really the people that were around that influence what we do. This is why when we feel like our faith is tested, let's turn to God. And when you feel like you need something extra, you can involve a friend, someone older than you. It's really, really up to you and how grounded you want to be. Let's not throw away who we are to fit in with the rest. I really think women look pretty in hijabs or any other head wraps out there from different religions, different um, tribes, cultures, you name it. Another thing is sometimes our biggest sometimes our biggest critics are actually our fellow women. We are fond of putting other women down for the reason why our friends are doing what they do or our friends are the reason as to why we do what we do. We need to learn to uplift each other, appreciate each other and actually be there for us. We need to lift our souls up and stop criticizing one another because let's unite in short let me know what you guys think make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and i'll see you in my next reaction video